Hello, Andrew Fantasia here, just with a little bit to say about the James Bond news, because I'm a big James Bond fan. I'm not going to sing the whole song, but later at the end of this video, I will sing the entirety of Nobody Does It Better by Carly Simon, because of course I will. So the news has just uh, hit Twitter and everywhere else that Aaron Taylor Johnson, star of Kick-Ass 2, has met with Barbara Broccoli the producer of the James Bond franchise for a possible talk about playing James Bond himself. And according to what all these sources in quotes are saying, the meeting went well. What does this mean for the future of James Bond? Well, the future of James Bond is according to Broccoli and uh, Michael G. Wilson, the other producer, future of James Bond is still a ways away. No Time to Die came out just over a year and a bit ago. Uh, so they are still kind of letting the franchise recharge before they start bombarding us with news about here's the new Bond, here's the new film, here's the new release date, etc. They want to let it wait and let the weight of No Time to Die sink in, which I think is smart because God, that movie was gorgeous. But in terms of Aaron Taylor Johnson stepping into the role, well, I mean, he fits the bill, right? He ticks all the right boxes. He is a talented very um, buff, action-y British actor. He would probably play a really decent James Bond. I'm personally not the biggest fan of Aaron Taylor Johnson. Something about him just kind of rubs me the wrong way. I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe he's a totally nice guy in real life, and I hope he is. But just when I see him in movies, he kind of skeeves me out. Having said that, if he does a good job as Bond, I'm there for it. But he's got to shave his beard. James Bond and facial hair do not mix. So the beard's gotta go uh, if this is the case. However, there's one small, I don't even wanna know if I should call it a hiccup or a speed bump or whatever, but usually when it has come to the James Bonds and we have had six of them now, when they get cast as Bond, they have Bond and that's it. They have previously established actors, sure, that's always the case. They usually don't go with nobodies, except in the case of maybe Lazenby. But the Bonds have only Bond to work on when they get the role. Pierce Brosnan was a very busy man, but as soon as he got cast for Bond, everything else went off the table and he just focused on being 007. Aaron Taylor Johnson, though, this guy is a franchise guy. Right now, he is you know, just about to begin his dip into the Sony Spider-Man universe because he's playing Craven the Hunter, which is supposed to come out this year. Unless it, you know, follows the Morbius method where it gets made this year, but it comes out in four years. I don't know. But Aaron Taylor Johnson is Craven, and if he's going to be Craven, it, the just it, it's going to sort of not break tradition, but it's just going to. Uh, <laughs> do the opposite of what has been done in the past when it comes to James Bond. And that's not sacrilege to me. It's cool if they do that, but I feel like all the Bonds we've had have worked because they have not spread themselves thin in other areas because they have focused entirely on the very demanding job of playing 007. Now, I would much rather have all the quality and effort go into Bond than all the quality and effort go into Craven the Hunter. So maybe it's for the best. Maybe this will be Aaron Taylor Johnson's uh, kick in the pants to be like, hey, I'm just going to be James Bond instead. I'm not going to be the hunter. Let's let Spider-Man villains uh, be given better treatment than whatever this movie is, because that movie does not look like it's going to be great. So who knows? I'm not super excited about this news, but like I said, I'll take it. But what do you think? What do you think about Aaron Taylor Johnson? playing 007. Do you have a better actor in mind? I'm sure lots of people have better actors in mind. As long as the movies are great, we will learn to love whoever plays Bond. But that's all for today. See you next time, maybe with news about who's playing Craven the Hunter's father, because that's what's really important. No, it's not. That's not what's really important. Nobody cares.